Hey everyone, welcome back to Pine Hollow Auto Diagnostics. Today, a YouTube fan brought his 2009 Chevy Traverse to the shop. He says his service airbag light is on, or the warning light service message. There it is, service airbag. And he left a nice note here, and it, let's uh, let's read. Always helpful to read the customer complaint. Ivan, service airbag system warning. Um, had a B0091 code, passenger seat switch, remove connector under passenger seat, green crusties. Now no com with SRS module. Also had following code after replace replaced front struts, but I had realignment, no CL now. All these codes there. Had a water leak on driver's side footwell from blockage under windshield cowling. Floor mat got soaked a couple times, not recent, maybe five to six years ago. All right, so we're gonna start with a full code scan to see who's online and what codes are being set. So I'm gonna let it run, and we'll review the codes. All right, it's all done. 14 systems detected. Let's start scrolling here. EBS, brake booster pressure sensor, performance plausibility history DTC, battery voltage above threshold in the BCM, instrument panel cluster, lost communication with restraints control module, current DTC, okay. And we have some Pressure, tire pressure uh, codes, theft deterrent, no modu modulator, transponder. Man, it's almost like a BMW. Look how many codes there are. More tire pressure codes. Vehicle communication interface, lost communication with inflatable restraint sensing and diagnostic module. U0151. Okay, so customer is correct. There's no communication with the airbag module. What's the next step? Well, let's find out where this thing lives, look up some service info on it, get a wiring diagram, and get to the thing and do some checks. So where does this thing live? <clears throat> so it's number five. And near the passenger seat. So there's the passenger seat. Behind it, it's the battery. And it looks like kind of in the middle towards the center console. Let's look at the uh, removal and replacement here. Remove the front floor console. Front floor console replacement. Remove HVAC floor duct. Position carpet in order to access sensor. Disconnect the connector. Okay. And how long is this supposed to take? <laughs> Two hours. All right, well, let's let's go hunting. So after 15 minutes, I got the, the side trim panels off, and we can see the airbag module hiding under this floor duct. You can see the connector right there. But this whole center console has to um, come out to actually access it, which is a kind of a pain. You know, maybe if we get this floor duct out of the way we won't have to mess with that but oh man come on GM accessibility a lot of wires a lot of modules so before going too far with the uh, console removal what's the next easiest step let's at least check the fuses right they're more easily accessible in this uh, module here's the wiring diagram there's our SRS module, and it looks like we have two power feeds. One is battery positive, fuse block, instrument panel. And the other one is ignition relay, fuse block under hood. Okay, they're both 10 amp fuses. And 
Let's see what else do we have here. Front passenger s system sensor. Is that the one you replaced? Um, but anyways, if we can get close to the module, we can check the power there or check the power at the fuse. Um, we have pretty good access to that wiring harness. So let's check these two fuses and see if we have power going to this uh, module. So here's the main wiring bundle going to our SRS module. And I separated the wires out. And we have our red and white, or pink and black and white. So the two powers and the ground. So let's take a look at the wiring diagram, see which one's battery positive and which one's ignition power. And uh, just do a quick check with the test light. Okay, so the red and white is going to be constant battery power and the pink one is ignition. So I have the uh, red and white pierced and using our power probe adapter from the cigarette lighter, again check it out in the Amazon store, very convenient. We know our test light works, we have a good power and ground, so test light to ground, you touch this pin, nothing, nothing in that one. So that's not good, that's supposed to be main battery power. And that comes from airbag fuse 10 amp fuse block instrument panel. And the fuse block is over here on the passenger side. So that 10 amp fuse right there in the second row, we should have power there. So if we go up here, and this is a really tight spot here, <laughs> you guys can see that. There's the fuses, and come up here with a test light, super camera shot. That's our airbag fuse. I'm not seeing anything on that side, or that side. Again, I'll double check, so I can't really see you in the camera here. But it looks like we're missing a power feed to this junction block, because both sides of the fuse are not hot. So while we're here, we can check the pink wire. I have that pierced with our test light. And if we turn the key on, oh, where did I put the key? Da -da -da -da. Uh, I'm gonna find the key. All right, key on. And do we have a feed here? Why don't we have a feed? Your test light works. Okay, that's just bizarre. There's only one pink wire. Um, hmm. Okay, so we do have ignition power. I was just. I think I was on the wrong pink wire. There's like dark pink and light pink. <laughs> but turn the key off, turn the key on. So that power feed is good. We're missing the constant battery feed on the red and white wire. So I'm going to double check the fuse here. We might have to go to a power distribution diagram. All right, so we're getting close here. Here's the power distribution for the instrument panel. Uh, fuse box, battery fuse, and then it feeds all of these in the little fuse block. So there's our airbag fuse, and what other ones are fed by this 50 amp? Because I don't think the 50 amp is blown, everything else works. Uh, like the MSM fuse, that's the one right next door, right above the airbag fuse. So let's check that one. Again flip you guys around. So MSM fuse is this guy. It's kind of hard to 
here. Oh. The angle of this fuse box is really not great for uh, testing, but we do have power in there. <laughs> Let me get a better test light. All right, we, we got our bright 4 amp test light, and it's flexible lead with just a pin. And this should be a little easier to uh, get in here. Okay, so MSM fuse side one, MSM fuse side two. Let's go back to the airbag fuse. Side one, nothing. Aha! Okay. So it looks like we do have a blown fuse. So, lesson here is, yes, you can start with the fuses if you know which ones to go for, and use the proper tool. Um, when you're in really tight quarters, you know, you're trying to jam a test light up in there, you may not get the right results. So, let's pull that fuse out, put a new one in, uh, I think this thing should be fixed. So, we didn't really need to take the panels off and stuff, we could have gone right for the fuse. But, you know, that's how it goes. All right, here it is. Sure enough, blown fuse confirmed. Let's pop a new one in. So I'm trying to find a spare fuse. I don't have any of these little tiny ones in stock. And it says there's a couple spares in the box. However, if we look at the actual fuses, there isn't a spare over here. There's like... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, fifteen amps instead of one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven instead of six. And some of them are like reverse. So someone's been doing the hokey pokey with the fuses. Um, let's see if they're all in the right place. So I put in a standard 10 amp mini. Kind of sticks out a little bit, but won't harm anyone. Let's just double check that it's hot on both sides yes it is turn the key on and see if we can talk to this thing on the scanner by the way airbag light is already out that's a good thing So in this case, let's go back, clear all codes, okay, and do the code scan again. Ah, airbag codes two. So if it can finally talk to it. <laughs> and we'll just jump in the airbag module here once it's done and clear those out. All right, here we go. Now it's 17 systems detected because the passenger present present system is also fed by that fuse. So we have airbag codes and passenger presence system codes. So again, back out of here. <laughs> Clear out the codes. All right. We'll do code scan one more time just to make sure nothing's left. All right. Uh, code scan results, no codes present. Beautiful. So we're done with this. Um, yeah, uh, the actual process could have been quicker because we didn't need to take apart the console or anything. But yeah, just check the basics and especially if uh, the customer says, you know, I was messing with something and then after that I had no com. Yeah, something shorted out. Blown fuse. Classic. So, not too exciting, but hey, 
process is still there wiring diagram leads it to the right fuse and test light no scopes no voltmeters required just a scanner and a test light hope you enjoy that one see you in the next one bye bye